Edward Island is bracing for the possible impact of the federal debt deal. That agreement signed by the president this week will prevent the government from going into default, but we've learned it could lead to serious cuts that could affect your wallet. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now with the local coverage. When Congress raised the debt ceiling earlier this week, they did a lot more than just that, some of which has left seniors scared. The debt ceiling package included more than $2 trillion in budget cuts over the next 10 years. The federal health insurance program for the poor, known as Medicaid, could be cut. And the deal calls for cuts to providers in the federal health insurance program for the elderly, known as Medicare. Cuts to providers could trickle down to cuts to patients. There are cuts At a senior center today, fear was in the air. Yeah, I just don't have the money. I, I, uh, what do I do? Stop going to the doctors and die. My fear that they'll cut that so low that I won't be able to have it anymore. Do you think about this even before the TV reporter comes along? I most certainly do. All the time. How are you? Good talk. Democratic Congressman David Cicilline voted for the debt ceiling package to avoid what he says would have been a catastrophic default. He doesn't like the possibility that later this year cuts to both Medicaid and Medicare may end up as part of the deal. So we're going to have this battle, and there is no question the Republicans have made it clear what their priorities are. We're going to have to fight to protect Medicare, protect Medicaid, and protect Social Security, and protect the middle class. This is Can the same. you do that Absolutely. against these forces, well, we're going to have these Republican yes. forces that so far are well, winning? In the, right, in, the, in the House, they have the majority of the vote, so we're going to have to keep fighting. It'll be a tough fight. Congressman Cicilline is well aware that, at least at the moment, the Republicans who want the cuts to Medicaid and Medicare, they have the votes. With the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.